Okay, so in this problem, once again, we're given a function here for profit. P of x equals 30x minus 0.03x squared minus 750. And we're told that P is the profit and x is the number of lawnmowers sold. Okay, so part A here, we're asked to find the average profit. When we sell fifty lawnmowers, yes. first of all, average <clears throat> an average function is always just taking our function. We actually name it p bar, and it's actually just taking our function, whatever it is, divided by the variable. That gives us our average function, whether it's average profit, average cost, uh, average revenue, and so on. So to find our average profit function for 50 mowers, we're going to take and divide that answer by x. So we take our profit function, 30x minus 0.03 x squared minus 750 and we're going to divide that by x now that function itself is uh, perfectly fine but for us to use it for some stuff later on like in a moment we're going to be asked about the marginal average profit from selling things. We're going to need to clean that up and put it in a better format. So although you can, as far as average profit, you can work with it here, we're going to take this and actually simplify it. So distribute that denominator through to each part. And simplify, we'll get 30 minus 0.03x minus 750 over x. Okay, and so that is actually going to be our average profit function. And then we're asked to compute that for 50 lawn mowers. Find the average profit when we sell 50 lawnmowers. So P bar of 50. We we'll just go in and plug 50 in for X. And so when we do that, make that computation, we get 1350. And since P was in units of dollars, this is units of $13.50 per lawnmower. Right? That's the average profit. Right? profit dollars per lawnmower so we're making an average profit of thirteen dollars and fifty cents per lawnmower so that's our first question there is compute the um, compute the average uh, profit so that's what we're making per lawnmower at that price at that sell point at selling 50 of them now, part B says we want to compute P bar prime of 50. And explain what it is telling us. So 
So we need to compute P bar prime first. And then we're going to evaluate it at 50. Okay, so let's do that. So we have our P bar function here, 30 minus 0.03x minus 750 over x. So first thing I'm going to do before I compute the derivative is I'm going to rewrite that in a format that's a little bit better for the derivative, particularly that 750 over x part. So P bar of x is just 30 minus 0.03x minus 750 x to the minus 1. So now we're in the right format, so we can go ahead and compute our derivative. So p bar prime of x, derivative of 30 would just be 0. Derivative of minus 0.03x would be 0.03. And then derivative of 750x to the minus 1, we would multiply by the minus 1, make that plus. 750, drop the exponent by 1, so that our p bar prime is now negative 0.03 plus 750 over x squared. Okay, and then we want to evaluate that when p bar. Uh, we want to uh, evaluate that when x is 50. So p bar prime of 50. So we go ahead and plug in 50. And we evaluate that. And what we find out is that that's going to be 0 0.27. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, remember, the derivative is a slope. So this is telling me what's happening to my p bar function, my average profit, as we increase the number of mowers sold. Well, p bar is the average profit. And so that's a, that's a positive slope, 0.27. So that means that our average profit is increasing by 27 cents per mower. when we are selling 50 mowers. So we can expect to have an extra 27 cents per mower sold for each mower we sell above 50. For each mower we sell above 50. Okay, and then finally, we're asked one final part to this problem, and that is to use the results from parts A and B to find. the average profit if 51 mowers are sold. Okay, if we make 51 mowers. So we could, of course, just go into B P bar all right, go into our p-bar function here, 
and we could plug in 51. And let's just go ahead and do that. 30 minus 0.03 times 51 minus 750 divided by 51. Let me go in there and get 13, 7, 6, 4, and so on. Now that's the exact value. But we want to actually use the information we've gotten from parts A and B. And let's see how those work. So in part A, we found out that P bar of 50 was 13.50. We found that P bar prime of 50 in part B was 27 cents. So we know that the average profit per mower is increasing by 27 cents when we're at uh, 50 mowers. So when we go up one mower, it should go up profit, average profit should go up by uh, 27 cents. And that would put us at an average profit of 13.77. Okay. Now, the actual average profit at uh, at 51 mowers was 13.76, but we were really close. It was three, it was seven six four. If that four had been a uh, five or bigger, we would have rounded up uh, and it got exactly 13.77. So. Again, this is because the derivative isn't quite exactly the marginal uh, function, but it's a darn good approximation. So we would, based on those two parts, we would figure out the average profit is actually thirteen dollars and seventy-seven cents. Thirteen dollars and seventy-seven cents. Okay, so this is just looking here at this idea of uh, marginal functions again, except this time. We're dealing with the marginal average profit function. Instead of the marginal profit or marginal cost, we're dealing with the marginal average cost function here. But this is just showing that connection between the two functions there. The original function and its derivative. And kind of comparing that to the, uh, the next value. Again, it's not going to be exact, but it's going to be darn close. Uh, when we make this that one unit increase.